Good morning. Uh, we wanted to show you what we've been doing with our Lego recently. Uh, we have been making labyrinths or marble mazes with our Lego. And basically what you need is a flat Lego panel at the bottom. And then you need to make, if you've got a small enough marble, like the little, little bitty ones, have to be pretty small. You can make your path only two pegs wide and two, two bricks high. However, if you're using a regular, like normal marble, you'll have to make that three, three pegs wide and three bricks tall. Just two, two pegs wide and three bricks tall. Valerie is trying to tell me something. Just say it. it. It has to be, if you have a larger marble, it needs to be three and two high. It doesn't need to be three high. Oh, two high is still enough. It just yeah. needs to be three wide. Yeah. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. I trust her because she's made a lot of these. Okay. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your marble and you decide which side is the start and which side is the finish. And you, how did this get, okay. So I think on this one, this side is the start. And then Valerie's going to demonstrate how you roll the marble to go through the maze. Try not to get trapped. Oh, that was not the right one. So the pegs make it extra hard because they hold it in place. Oh, you thought this one was so easy, huh? Me? Yeah, well, I know where it has to go. <laughs> Just I can't get it to go through there. Can I be here for a while? It's going to be a 45-minute video. Hey! <laughs> All right. Now, that is just your standard labyrinth. Now, if you want to make it a little more complicated, you can cover it with a top. Now... It is a black box, which means you can't see what's inside. You have to be able to determine from the outside what's inside. So now you put your marble into the starting hole, which we always label with green. And then you have to roll it around and just by feel. <laughs> just by feel, you have to find your way through the path. While Valerie does this, John Wallace, can you bring me my elaborate one? Yep. You can hear her playing with it over there. I don't know why she took it away so it can't be in the video anymore. All right. So, I have made a much more elaborate version. Oh, Yay! Darn, it came out the oh, it start. came out the start. It doesn't count if it comes back out the start. So I've made a much more elaborate version of this. Um, I've got just a big base plate on the bottom. Um, we were tired of losing our marbles when they fell out, so we made this little um, scooper catcher spot so that when it comes out the end, um, it gets a little caught caught in that little here, little scooper. I put a slope in there to make it yeah. easier to scoop the marble out. And unfortunately, base plates, dear Lego, if you're listening, change this please. Ah, it came back out the start again, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Lego, if you're listening, base plates should have sticky parts on the bottom too because a normal base plate, you can't stick on top of anything. So we had to create our own uh, makeshift cobbled together base plate to make a lid for this maze. So I was going to do a, a test run with the marble, right? but Valerie hasn't gotten it out yet. <laughs> Yay! Yay! All right. So, on this one, let's see which way is the start. The start is this side here. So, yeah. John Wallace, you're gonna I demonstrate. Start on this side. He likes to start at the stop. Usually, because I make the maze from the start to the end, the end to the start is an easier maze. So, usually, usually, this one's got a trap at the very beginning. <laughs> it rolled right out my finger. Oh. Nope. Yep. Nope.
Ah, uh, this video's long enough. I'll put the lid on, but I don't think we'll do the whole thing. Okay, don't break it. I'm trying. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Clearly, the lid is not necessary to make this one a challenge. I'm gonna pause it and put the lid on. All right, we've got the lid on now, and so we now have this it's really, really difficult, extremely impossible. Keep you busy for all day, black box maze. Valerie's got another one over here. Oh, nice, I think it came, it came back at the start though. Um, Valerie's got another one here that she's it's made that's got three levels. Can I tip it up on its side? Yep. So the bottom level is an easy maze, and then it's a medium maze, and then it's a hard maze as we progress up. So this one she's made a little smaller because this size base plate, you can stick the bottom onto the tops of other bricks. Yeah. And Valerie likes to make this little basket on the top to hold, to hold the ball so that it's there ready to go. So there you go. That's our black box Lego labyrinths. Maybe that will keep you occupied for a little bit today. Oh, it will.